Hi, I'm Chris, and this is my 3D printer, the Anycubic i3 Mega with Ultrabase. I've had experience with about six other 3D printers before this one, ranging in price from about $600 to about $2,000. And the only printer that outshined this one cost about three times as much, and it was really only a little bit better anyways. I decided to go with this printer because it seemed to be one of the most positively reviewed printers in its price range and it more than met my expectations. I've had it for about six months now, I've done quite a lot of printing with it, and I've yet to experience any real problems. Occasionally the bed needs to be re-leveled, but with its large, easy to turn thumb screws, that's very easy to do. I've mostly been using it to print cosplay props, with some larger pieces taking up to 20 hours of straight printing to complete, and this printer had no problem running that long. Those pieces all came out great. I've only used PLA with this printer, and that might be one of the reasons I've never had any issues with the nozzle clogging up. But the printer did come with an extra nozzle in the box, so that's really nice. And after using other filament types with other printers, I'd recommend always using PLA unless you absolutely have to use something else. I'd say one of my favorite things about this printer, other than its reliability, is the Ultrabase heated build plate. Just set it to 60 degrees Celsius for PLA, and it sticks to it perfectly. Then wait for it to cool, and it pops right off. No need to use tape, glue, hairspray, or anything else like that that you might need with a different printer. And by far, one of my least favorite things about this printer is that when you turn it on, it plays this loud little tune. And a lot of printers do this, and it's cute at first, but there's no option in the menus to turn off this sound, and it gets annoying after a while. But other than that, this printer is wonderful, especially for its price, it's hard to go wrong. I haven't needed to add anything or make any modifications to it. Assembling it was very easy. I would definitely recommend this printer to anyone. For more details, click the link in the description below or go to to buy a 3dprinter.com